hello everyone welcome back in this video we will see module 2 commandlets for administration so in this module there are three lesson and there is one lab so we'll see the first lesson active directory administration commandlets so in this lesson We'll see the first topic user management commandlets. So, here um, there are some commandlets that we can use for you know managing the uh, users. So, for example, new dash ad user to create a user account and to change uh, the properties of the user account, we can use the set dash ad user. And to remove the user account, remove dash ad user. And to reset the password for that user account, we can use set dash ad account password. And set dash ad account expiration to set the expiration date for that particular user. And uh, to unlock the user account, we can use unlock dash ad account and um, for enabling the user account enable dash ad account and to disable it disable dash ad account so this is the uh, sample example you know um, to create a new user account And this following table lists some common commandlets for managing the user account. So we can use get dash ad user to retrieve a user account. So to retrieve the um, users uh, department and email address, we can use this commandlet. And to get all the properties of that user, we can use the um, get dash ad user. So for creating the new user account, we can use the uh, you know following list of uh, the parameter. So we can use new dash ad user and then um, these are the parameter that we can specify while creating the new user account so next uh, group management command lets so these are the uh, you know some of the commands that we can use to manage the group Let's say for creating a new group, we can use new dash ad group. And uh, if we want to modify the properties of that group, then we can use set dash ad group. And then to display the properties of that group, we can use get dash ad group. And if you want to uh, delete the group, then we can use the remove dash ad group and if you want to add any members to that group then we can use ad dash ad group member and if you want to uh, get the list of uh, the membership of that group we can use the get dash ad group member and uh, if we want to remove any group from that um, I mean um, to remove the members from the group we can use the remove dash ad group member and uh, to add a group membership to an object we can use this command line so to manage the groups uh, these are the command lets uh, can be used so to create a new group can use new dash ad group and these are the uh, parameter that we can specify while creating the um, the group 
so here uh, there is an example to create a new group named the file server admin so we can um, run this following command new dash ad group and specify the name of the group that you want to create and the group scope that you have to mention managing the group membership and there will be a lab for this uh, session that we will see in a separate video and next uh, computer object management commandlets so to create a new computer account we can specify new dash ad computer so generally for a windows computer when we add that to the domain the computer account will be created automatically but if there is a case if you want to create a new computer account manually we can specify this command line and if you want to change or modify any properties of that computer account we can use set dash ad computer and get dash ad computer to display the properties of a computer account and to delete the uh, account i mean the computer account we can use a remove dash ad computer so these were the commandlets to manage the computer account and these were the parameter when we create a new ad uh, computer account so this is um, a sample example to create a new computer account new dash ad computer and uh, specify uh, the computer name here and uh, the path where you want to um, create the computer account and make sure it's uh, enabled and next um, OU management commandlets so these were the command that used to um, manage the OU the organizational unit so to create a new OU we can use the new dash ad organizational unit and to modify the properties of an ou we can use the set dash ad organizational unit command and these were the command let for managing the ou and uh, these were the parameter while creating the new OU and uh, this is the example so new dash organizational unit and specify the name of the OU and uh, the path where you want to create it and you are setting up uh, protected from accidental deletion so that no one can delete that OU accidentally and next topic active directory object commandlets so to create a new active directory object we can use new dash ad object and to modify the properties we can use the set command and to uh, get the properties we can use the get command and you can just uh, uh, go through this uh, next uh, remove to delete this and rename restore and to move an active directory object from one container to another container we can use the move dash ad object so these were the commandlet to manage the active directory object and these were the parameter that we can specify to create the ad object And here there is an example new dash ad object and we are creating the contact here so specify the name of the contact and the type and we will see the lab for uh, these topics in a separate video so all these commandlets we can um, 
uh, you know do it hands-on in a separate video okay so that's it in this video and i'll see you in the next video for the lesson two thank you